Hello and welcome to Technostrata. I'm Tom Dodge. Get in touch Facebook forward slash Technostrata. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial video on how to link up your Ableton to your tractor. We've had a couple of questions um, about how do we do it and I think nowadays in techno music and sort of any sort of live performance just about everyone is using some sort of MIDI controller be that Ableton Push, uh, Tractor Machine uh, just to add some more drums or some more um, instruments to the mix and just kind of add that whole new layer of creativity onto your mix. So today we're going to be talking about how do we link up today specifically Ableton into Tractor. Okay so here we are in uh, Tractor and as you can see we've got a track playing on deck one and we've got the full Tractor UI open so over there we're on extended so we can see as much information as possible. What we need to do first is make sure that there's an actual MIDI signal being sent so we go into settings and we just make sure that send MIDI clock is ticked. What that will do is that will mean Tractor will start trying to send out a MIDI signal. Um, we now need to tell it to send out a virtual MIDI signal because we haven't got any cables so we go into controller editor and we need to create ourselves a generic MIDI um, device and then on the in and out port you just want tractor virtual input and tractor virtual output. What that will do is it will start sending a virtual MIDI signal out to whatever devices are listening for that signal. We need to turn it on. So on the top left corner, this is hidden away, you want to press the metronome button and then make sure auto is turned off and master is turned on. That means what everything will now sync to a tractor master clock. That's all four decks or two decks. Everything will be synced onto that one uh, internal MIDI clock for everything. We now want to float over to Ableton. I've got a drum kit already loaded up. What I'm going to do is go over to preferences and MIDI sync or MIDI link is the button. We go into this section and what we do, we scroll down and we find our virtual um, outputs that we found that we set up and we want to make sure that they're turned on. That will mean that Ableton is now actively listening out for those MIDI signals and you can actually see on the top left there is a flickering light that means that one MIDI signal is coming in. We want to click EXT which means it is now um, listening for an external device and from there we go back into Tractor and we need to actually tell it to send that device so we press the um, play pause button and we want to make sure that it's synced up as well Now we can see that the two lights are now flashing in sync. That means that the send and um, Ableton signals are now like synchronized. And now, when I lay up these drums on the Ableton push, they're now synced in with the track. For some reason, because I was recording this on full screen, the audio is slightly distorted. But you shouldn't have that problem. As you can hear now, I can mess around with these drum sounds. I can sequence some drums in and they're all synced up. If you were to lose the beat, so I've tried to put it off by one beat there, you can just stop the MIDI, and that should stop all the sound, and then just press play again, or press sync to try and, uh, it will try and automatically resync. Sometimes I find with the play pause button, you, if you hold down the button, and then release it on the beat, that sometimes is the better way of getting it into time. Um, but overall, that is kind of how you sync up your MIDI tractor in Ableton. And that's it for um, our tutorial today. Any questions, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and Facebook forward slash Technostrata. I'll see you next time.